A series of tornadoes swept across the Midwest over the weekend, killing several people and destroying dozens of homes from Iowa to Ohio. We heard the sirens. It was late at night, and, um, and then you just heard like this roaring sound and this freight train sound. And it was the worst sound I've ever heard in my life. The Toledo area seemed to get the worst of it. Some of the heaviest damage happened at this high school. Two buses were tossed on their sides. Another was thrown about 50 yards, landing on top of the football field. The twister also ripped off the roof and back wall of the gymnasium just hours before a graduation ceremony was supposed to start. I didn't know it was this close. I didn't know that this was what Lake High School was going to look like. So the fact that we were in that building and survived it was like, oh my God. School officials say the father of Lake High School's valedictorian died during the storm. According to neighbors, the only thing left of his home is a basement filled with water. That's enough to, to break it down, especially because we, sa we saved his wife and his kids. And you try and tell them, you know, that you're going to find their dad. But you just couldn't find him, you know. In southeastern Michigan, severe storms and high winds sent metal debris flying around a nuclear plant on the shores of Lake Erie, forcing it to shut down. Authorities say investigators have been inspecting the plant, and it's expected to go back online. About 35,000 people lost power Sunday, but it's unclear if that was directly linked to plant closure or because of damaged power lines. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.